thank you so much for watching if you are new please don't forget to hit the subscribe button i love making new friends and it would be awesome to have you stick around today i'm going to take you to my happy place so let's get started first of all i think i would just like to say a lot of people always think that my room is so big it's actually not that big um, it's about two and a half by three meters which is really small for the amount of stuff I kind of try and fit in there um, but yeah I'm gonna show you what it looks like so this is like my little room where I film I obviously edit I have all my makeup here I've got my filming setup and the whole shebang um, right next to the door I've got my nail polish collection so this little stand my dad actually made for me and I just kind of painted it it's a little bit messy at this moment I have to sort out my nail polishes but yeah that's basically where I keep all of my nail polishes um, I'm sorry if this video is a little bit shaky I only noticed afterwards while editing I was like oh girl you shake a lot <laughs> So these are my lights, my light, this is my light mirror. My husband Kevin actually made this for me, I think about five or six years ago. And it's come in so handy. Um, around it I've got little bookshelves filled with stuff. Obviously in this one I put like my little drips and drabs of lashes and that sort of thing. In the top one, I have my eye lure lashes. Um, this is normally stocked up. As you can see, I need to go and do some shopping. <laughs> then the rest is just kind of filled with hair products, hair sprays, um, volumizing products, some hair oil, dry shampoo, and that thing. This cupboard I actually got from Checkers. It was around about 800 Rand. And on top of it, I kind of keep my beauty boxes where it's just kind of easy to grab product if I need it. Within these drawers, I used to use makeup, but now I'm kind of just using it for my backdrops. So I would keep them in the first two drawers. The bottom two drawers, I basically have like little decor items that I use to take photos with and you know that sort of thing so on top of my chest of drawers like I said I obviously have my beauty box and this canvas was actually given to me as a gift on my kitchen tea all my guests kids kissed it <laughs> and wrote their names underneath so that's quite special well, on top of the big box I kind of just keep like little items samples that sort of thing and then I also have my foundation stacked together in a different little container thing so looking at the smaller beauty box um, these are really all my lipsticks lip glosses liquid lipsticks yeah I've got my color pop shades um, very dark shades to red wines and that sort of thing and then I have more pinky kind of shades and nude shades and the drawer below that I literally just have like nudes and that sort of thing you can see my products look really bad it's because of traveling because I'm a makeup artist obviously I have to travel with them and the packaging kind of just comes off they start looking ugly um, I think that's like the unfortunate thing of being a makeup artist and having to carry stuff around with you. Um, so yeah, here I've got some Smashbox liquid lipsticks, which I absolutely love. I've also got some Essence products. I've been loving Essence products recently and a lot of you guys have been requesting videos for that. So that's also cool. And then I have all my liquid eyeliners and glitter liners and bright liners and the whole the whole story in there and the bottom one is really for all my eyeshadow bases so yeah that's really good for the first beauty box moving on to the second one on top i have two tins uh, which i actually keep my, all of my brow products and it's just so much easier to travel with it like this can i can just kind of grab it and go and then in the first drawer, I've got all my MAC lipsticks laid out. I find it easier to find them when they're laid flat because I can kind of read the names and see what I'm looking for. In the second drawer, I kind of dedicated that for Colourpop lip 
I mean not lipsticks, <laughs> eyeshadows, highlighters and bronzers and then the third drawer I have for gel eyeliners so I've got them in different shades and black of course and then some MAC eyeshadows and highlights, I mean blushes and that sort of thing. The bottom drawer is kind of stuffed with a whole lot of stuff. MAC highlighters and bronzers. I've also got some drugstore bronzers and that sort of thing at the back. And then I just have some, you know, separate items, I would say. And this blush is really gorgeous from the bomb. I actually really, really like it. And then obviously I have this whole section with illuminators. So we've got Inglot, we've got NYX, um, High Beam from Benefit, WhatsApp from Benefit, that sort of thing. And then I have a little drawer with highlighters, shimmery highlighters, and basically drugstore blushes. Um, and then in the front part, I have like my little compact face contouring highlighting blush um, little palettes, which I absolutely love. So moving on to my desk, we obviously have Coke and sweets <laughs> because that's what I kind of live on. I've got my little Christmas tree set up with all of my makeup products and brushes and eyelashes. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on Christmas decorations, so I kind of just opted for this idea. <laughs> this is obviously where I edit and, um, you know, just kind of do mails and Facebook updates and that sort of thing. I use Final Cut Pro to edit my programs. Here you can just see a little sneak peek. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is really what I use. It's a difficult program, but once you get to know it, it it's a little bit easier to work around it and that sort of thing. So next up we have this chest of drawers. This was actually a gift my mom had made for me um, for my wedding day and it was so special because it looks exactly like the IKEA drawers um, but it's not like she had it made so the first drawer I just basically have single eyeshadows and stuff I like to lay them flat so I can kind of see what I'm looking for the second drawer we obviously have all the primers we've got Stila, Maybelline Baby Skin Urban Decay primers then I've also got my powders RCMA Ben and some extra sponges and then also cream foundations and just a whole lot of powders and that sort of thing. The next drawer is basically filled with lipsticks, pigments, color correcting products and then also loads of concealers and highlighters. I've got MAC, I've got Essence, Get Picture Ready and then I also have Allegal, NYX, Catrice, I really really love concealers so that will always be filled up girl. <laughs> then I have a palette drawer where I basically have like shallow palettes if that makes sense, like the palettes aren't that big. Um, some of my favorite palettes are obviously Too Faced, Stila, my NYX contouring palette, I've also got the NYX strobing palette which is absolutely amazing and then the balm palette. I mean the balm has just launched in Stutterford so that's quite cool, it's easily accessible. And then just like my drugstore little palettes. The drawer below is a bit deeper so it's for the bigger type of palettes and in there I've got a lot of BH Cosmetics palettes which I've had for like a few years. My new NYX Beauty School Dropout and then obviously the Shonyx O, Colly by Bell palette, Sephora palettes, that sort of thing. Then the drawer underneath that, I kind of keep all my mascaras, just kind of throw it in there so I can dig in there and see what I'm looking for, what I feel like wearing for the day and just it's so much easier just to like pop them in there and take them out. Then I have a um, little holder with like a tweezer and eyelash glue, setting sprays and then lip liners and eyeliners and whew, now I can take a breath. <laughs> um, the next drawer is a little bit boring. There I just kind of keep my contouring products, so but maybe NYX, 
Stila, Love, and then just some cream products I keep in this drawer. If I need it, I kind of know where to find it. I also have this little table next to me with brushes that I obviously have to clean and just some decorative items and that sort of thing. Last but not least, my little filming table. I want to get a new one um, because this one is taking up a lot of space. I just want a smaller plain one. And on here I normally put the products that I want to try out. Like say for instance this is now the Vice palette from Urban Decay which I really want to try and use in a video. And then lastly, my filming setup. I obviously have two soft boxes and a ring light, ring light facing me as I film. So yeah, that's really it for me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it interesting so it wasn't boring. Let me know if you have any questions down below, I will answer them. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe before you leave. Until my next video, you must stay sweet. I'll talk to you soon. Bye! and colors that I really love. So if you want to see them swatched on my nails, then please keep on watching.